Good morning, my friends. Happy Monday. This is Lindsay bringing you another work from home job lead. If you were wanting to make the career switch to a work from home job, make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on. I am always searching the internet for the best work from home job leads and bringing them straight to you on a daily basis. And just a little disclaimer, I do not work for any of these companies. I simply share what I find online. I do my best to weed out any scams and double check things before I share it, but always do your own research before giving personal information to any of these companies and never ever ever pay for a job. But with that being said, let's just dive on in. Y'all have been loving the healthcare job leads, and this is another one that does not require any college degree. It is United Healthcare is hiring a claims supervisor to work remotely. Now it says you'll enjoy the flexibility to telecommute anywhere within the U.S., so this is for my U.S. viewers and subscribers only. This is a full-time 40-hour-a-week job, Monday through Friday, so no weekends. And the normal business hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you are in California or another state that is on the other side of the country, you might want to make sure that your hours um, correspond to this and that you'll be able to get up and work these hours. Now, some of the requirements for this position are a high school diploma or GED, but no college degree is required. They want five years experience of analyzing or solving problems in an office setting with claims or customer service environment and one year of supervisory or leadership experience. The reason they list different things is because they take transferable skills. So if you've had office experience or or if you've had customer service experience, that will transfer in. Now, customer service experience can be literally a call center customer service. It can be working in retail. If you've been a cashier, you are doing customer service. And with that being said, uh, supervisory or leadership experience does not have to be in the healthcare field. If you were a team lead in a retail store, if you've been a supervisor or manager anywhere else, those skills can transfer transfer over and they do want you to be proficient with computers and Windows PC applications. Now this is the job title that I hold in my full-time job and I do not have a college degree. Now I went to college, I have some college experience, but I never finished and got the degree. So healthcare companies do hire for supervisor and management roles because they use the customer service and leadership skills that you have over education. Now they do not specifically list job duties with this, but a billing supervisor is going to be the leader of the claims reps that actually do the billing and follow up of healthcare claims. So the people you will be directly over will be the ones calling the insurance companies, finding out why they didn't pay a claim, trying to get the coding changed or sending medical records to prove medical necessity and get the claims paid. That is a part of the job that they can train and teach you on. So they are really looking for someone who has that leadership ability to lead the team. Some of the other job duties you may um, encounter are dealing with your team's time cards, inputting the times that they work, making sure that they are working and staying on task. So there'll be a lot of email communication with your team because they will probably be working remote also. So this is not a phone-based job, but you may occasionally have to pick up the phone and call somebody, or you may have to take inbound phone calls because if you are a supervisor and your people need to call in sick for the day and let you know they're not working, they um, will call you. So there may be a little bit of phone work involved, but I let my team actually just text me so that I don't have to actually be on the phone. 
Now, they do prefer someone who has past health care experience in claims or appeals, but that is not required. The only thing that is required is that you do live in a location that can get approved high-speed internet connection, and they would like somebody who has the ability to multitask. Now, as far as pay goes for this position, leadership positions do tend to pay well. Of course, it depends on your location and your experience, but this job starts at $43,000 a year and can go all the way up to $84,400 a year. So if you get an, an, if you apply and get an interview, please make sure if they offer you the position that you are always trying to negotiate your salary because they always have a budget bigger than they initially offer. So get those negotiating skills a going. <laughs> And if you've made it to the end of this video, I want to say thank you so, so much for watching and supporting me. Again, make sure you have your notifications turned on because I'll be back very shortly with another work from home job lead just for you. Two videos will be popping up on your screen. One I picked for you and the other YouTube picked for you that you might enjoy next. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss another work from home or money making video from me. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.